Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up. Showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, or the comment section, you'll see where it says start reading. Just click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reader. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in. Clarify them if I need to, and then um, I'll be back. So Gemini, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always, always flip switch, ever side resonates the most. Okay. All right. So you're dealing with a situation where you feel like there's just been some injustice that's happened when it comes to you and this person, you and this relationship, unfairly treated, there's been some unfairness and you're trying to get this person back small tokens of uh, appreciation with that page card nothing too extravagant just trying to maybe communicate um just how you feel about them uh, trying to express maybe just words of affirmation maybe phone call texts because there is definitely this recognition of how important this person has been to you or just the impact that this person has had on your life in some way, shape or form. But you do acknowledge that this person has got their barriers up. They've got their barriers up because in the past, in the past, this person walked away from this. And that was, we got that, we got that death card there, which talks about transformation, which talks about the ending of something, uh, and, and with the ending of something, the birthing of something else. So this person walked away in regards to two things that's going on here, uh, Gemini. Transformation in some way, shape or form, but also that transformation could be due, could be due to their maybe career, work, something that they uh, are working on or wanting to achieve, but definitely transformation, this walking away from this has to do with them ultimately wanting to change in some way, shape or form. And it's interesting because they was willing to, there was definitely some acknowledgement of what would happen if they walked away, what would happen if they ended this relationship. And it was like, they were, they got themselves to a place where we've got that queen of cups there being emotionally mature enough to handle what came with that. Um, yeah, I feel like it's definitely work or something to do with maybe their career, partly. Yeah. But walking away towards something. And it was like he was just kind of watching them leave with that, with the Eight of Cups there, trying to be mature with the King, trying to be mature, trying to remain strong when deep down really what he wanted was to keep this relationship, even advance it in some way. So it left you with this lack of clarity. And right now, it's a case of you just feeling like and just being Un unfairly unfairly treated just by their response the thing is is they feel stuck at the moment so whatever it is that you're doing whatever initiate whatever it is that you're initiating whatever communication you're having is causing them to feel stuck because yes this walking away towards this change or to do with this change gave this person this sense of uh, freedom um, do I even want to use that word maybe adventure or uh, newness uh, and now it's like they still love you there's still feelings there for you with the ace of cups there so that's causing them to feel stuck it's like this yeah. dichotomy of wanting something but also wanting something else it's this friction that they have which is causing them to feel stuck it's like this ended 
I get this sense of freedom or adventure, this newness. Um, and it's, it's, it doesn't feel good to them. Maybe also this represents just how they was feeling in the past in regards to this. Like I said, you're wanting to move towards actually creating something. I'm not sure. I think, I think for some of you, you was on the cusp of that. And then maybe this person switched up on you. That's just for some of you though. But there is this level of loyalty with that king there, Gemini. This level of loyalty that you have towards this person. There's a loyalty to this, to you, when it comes to this person. I'm not sure whether they're aware of that or not. I'm not sure whether they acknowledge that or not. So you're kind of confused kind of confused I'm not sure whether you have even considered you know when it's like you just see yourself being with someone for a while and you know you don't consider anyone outside of that I feel like for some of you it's a case of I haven't even considered what it's like to date outside of this person what it would be like to even not be in a relationship with this person but I'm going back to the fact that this person still has look at the ace of cups you know, there's still passion there. There's still a bit of desire. Uh, but it's like this person is trying to hold on for... Hold on to... How do I put that? So this person is trying to hold on to what they gained while they have been transform, transforming or... Um, even if it's small shifts, small sh changes that they've been going through, it's been enough for them to get this sense of whatever that fool is representing. So it's left you confused, you know, slightly uncomfortable by the potential future that you might not have with this person. Um, and I feel like this is, you know, sometimes you get situations, relationships, experiences that force you to grow. Um, and I say force because sometimes we could be kicking and screaming, but I force you to grow. And ultimately, once you've grown and, you know, sometimes we look back and think, oh, my God, I wish. I mean, why did I act like that? Or why did I, you know, I really, really like this person or I really felt like I couldn't live without someone. And we look back on once we've grown out of that, we look back and we think, oh, my God, was that really me? You know, sometimes we're forced to grow in situations that sometimes feel uncomfortable uh, for us. Um just bear that in mind. So we're going to move into the extended version, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to guys, because I will say that again, it's this forcing people to grow, forcing someone to grow, but, but it's at the benefit of yourself. It's at the benefit of you, uh, Gemini. So link is in the description bar below or in the comment section. And of course, for members, uh, I, oh yes, guys, I've just launched the new memberships. Uh, for the channel so take a look link is in the description bar also in the comment section if you guys are interested uh, members uh, you also get these extended readings within your membership so i shall see you guys in a bit